In this Microsoft Teams tutorial, you will learn how to create your own team and add users to it. First thing you'll want to do is go to office.com in your internet browser. And you might have to sign in with your email address and password. Once you're in, you're going to see all your apps here and you're going to want to click into Teams. Here's the Teams tile. Okay, so once in Teams, you can now click on, you'll either be seeing all of your teams here or you can click here to go to all teams because you'll wanna be here in order to create a new one. So creating a new one is pretty simple. You're gonna go up here to the top right and click where it says join or create team. Then over here at the top left, you're gonna click the create a team tile. Now, when you create a team, you have four options. You have the class team, which is set up for teacher uh, interacting with students. You have a PLC team, which would be for your um, uh, colleagues and you to collaborate. There's a staff team, which would be used by a school administrator and their staff. And then you have the other team, which really is just a baseline team can be used for uh, just general collaboration. But in this case, we're going to a class team because we're adding students. So I'm going to click on class. And first, I'm going to name it. So um, a good thing to do with the naming convention is to maybe put your school name first and then um, put your, uh, your name or your grade level or your classroom number. All right, description is optional. We're gonna then click next. Okay, now I'm going to uh, add my students. So I get a field here where I can start searching for them by name, or I can um, actually type in their email addresses. And you might run into a situation where you search by name and they don't come up. So your, your backup to that is try entering their email address. So I'm gonna add a student here. And well, in this case, as for the demo, this is actually a staff member. Um, but, uh, cause you can actually add staff members as students, but just to show you the process. So I'm gonna click add. Now there's Matthew listed as a uh, student in my class. And I can continue searching here and adding students. Additionally, you can go to teachers here if you'd like to bring in your colleagues to co-teach with you, you can actually add their names here. So when you're done with that, you click close. And here's your new, new team and you're ready to get started. Now, additionally, another way you can add members to your team is by providing them a join code. Um, and so with, with a join code, you could send them the code and they could go to teams, type in the code, and then they're in and they'll be added as a member of your team. The way you do that is I'm going to click here on the drop down menu next to the team name and I'm going to go to manage team. In here, I'm going to click settings. Then I'm going to scroll down to team code. I click here. I click generate. And lo and behold, it generated a join code for me and I can go full screen and show my, you know, if I'm in space with students, I can show the class. If I'm not in space with them, I can just uh, copy this and send the join code with them. Now, sometimes there's zeros that look like O's and there's L's that look like, that could look like the number one. So what you can do is you can click reset to reset your code and find one that's a little bit easier for folks to type in and not get incorrect. So here's a good one. I can copy this and then um, send it out in an email or instant messaging or however I want to send it out. Okay, and so that is how you create a team and add members.